Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3147, where we have 41 moves to clear out 57 jelly. And even though we have a lot of moves, I'm really worried about the jelly down here. So let's see what we can make of this. We've got this conveyor belt that might help us, but right now everything is just licorice. So let's clear some of this out. I don't see any licorice dispensers, so hopefully that means once we've got this licorice gone, it's gone for good. Although, you know, sometimes they will have uh, missing graphics, so they'll give you licorice dispensers without showing them to you. You'll just get licorice dropping down, but so far this looks pretty good. Nice. Okay, so now I'm able to take out bits and pieces of this, plus I've got some specials building up here. I wish that I could make a color bomb. Unfortunately, the conveyor belt is going to swing around too fast. I was hoping at least to get a stripe. That did not work. All right, but we made some progress here. I'm just going to keep working downward as much as I can while keeping an eye on the upper areas to see if I can get any specials that might help. Okay, let's see. I can make another stripe. Oh, striped wrapped. Well, I didn't get to combo it, but it is making some progress down here. So if I can get this wrapped candy down here, it could have a good effect. Especially if I clear out some of that licorice in the beginning. All right. So that was a gimme. And that can sometimes happen when we do a good job of clearing things out. Unfortunately, I don't see how I'm able to get this set up together. I could just take out all orange from the board. See, I don't have any red down here where it could have a strong influence. Hmm. Yeah, really, I would need red down in one of these spots or close enough to it. So I'm just going to take out all orange, which will concentrate the colors and hopefully give me more matches and specials. It's hard to give something up when it looks so appealing, but it has to work well on the board, and that one just didn't. Oh. Well, I'm going to have a chain reaction of, of wrapped candies. I was hoping to get a wrapped wrapped combo, but it did basically the same damage for me, so that's good. All right, so now I'm at a position where I don't have any good moves. So what I would normally do is take out one of the less prevalent colors so the more prevalent colors can get together. I just don't have, I mean, I have sort of an even mix of colors here. Huh. I'm going to take out blue. Blue and orange, I think. Oh, no, but I can take out licorice, so I'll do that first. Oh, I want to take out that licorice. I'm really struggling with getting over to this side here. Okay, so here's a stripe. Maybe I'll be able to drop it down. Oh, hello. Yikes. Getting all sorts of specials, but not lined up well. This striped wrap just doesn't cut it. It doesn't get where I need it to be. This is better. It's not perfect, but it'll start getting some colors in here. Once we've got candy in here, then we can start to make some specials, or at least some matches. This would be important to get. Okay, so I have to work on this. This would probably win it if I can get this on my last turn. Ah, oh, we might have a couple left over. All right, it wasn't awful, wasn't great. Let's go ahead and try it again. Now that I know the board a bit better, I think I can do a better job. And if I do much better, then of course I'll win. Plus I'm getting a better setup right away. I felt like the first one we stalled, we weren't able to get down to this licorice. But look at this. Okay, yeah. This one's going much better. Now remember I got some good benefits on that last one, but they were benefits that came, I think, because 
I opened up the board. When you open up the board, that's when you've got the opportunity to make these specials. See how they kind of come together when you make space for them? All right, this is looking good. When this comes around, I should be able to make a striped wrapped combo. Unless things fall apart first, it's hard for me sometimes to tell with the um, conveyor belts. Now, I, I made a swath of 3x3, three three, but instead of covering this entire area and taking out a layer of this, I pulled it down low, and that was obviously a mistake on my part. It's because I'm not too concerned with this, but I should be, just in case. Because sometimes I'll be in a position where, you know, I'll be focused so much on this area that I'll neglect some of the other areas that will generally take care of themselves, but sometimes need a little help. Thankfully, it seems like it is working that they're taking themselves out, so it wasn't too detrimental. But it's always best if I can exercise my best playing possible. Sometimes I just move too quickly for my own sake. Now, should I just take out a color, or should I try to pair this with a special? I've got a special on the conveyor, but it would be, take a while to get it to come around. I've got 21 moves and only 8 jelly. I think I'm best off taking out a color. I had a few orange down here, and that concentrates the colors so that it's easier to get these to work. Yeah, I think that was a good decision. So I've got that. I still have this guy to worry about a bit. That's not coming out. Okay, got that one. One more, 14 moves. If I can't get this one, I will be very disappointed in myself. I'm not going to risk that. Well, it's not a risk if you guys don't know this trick. You start at the top and start in the t upper left-hand corner and read it like a page from the upper left down the rows like this. And then you start with uh, horizontal and, and count out horizontal, vertical. So this is going to go horizontally. Vertical. Go Look for the next purple if I'm going to match these. Horizontal. Vertical. Horizontal vertical, horizontal. We don't count this one, so this one would go vertically. It would not hit here. I would be so much better off just kind of biding my time and waiting for things to change uh, until this works out for me. I could count it out again though because this purple and this purple are now in different spots. So let's try it. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. That should get it. So by waiting one turn and knowing the secret of how to count out the color bomb stripe situation, we were able to get this done. I know it wasn't very cleanly played. I was just rushing through, and I, I think I did that on the first try, too. Although I really do think it was a bad board to begin with. So I would have been battling uphill, but I still should always give my best effort if I want to get done with the level quickly. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.